man. Hey, man. Shout out to the LDBC. Man, the live is organization on YouTube. Man, shout out to my brothers, Ticket and Mario. And y'all, uh, stay tuned to later on. Um, I got a, I got a joint venture with some other brothers, man. We got a podcast called The Crossover. Um, it's on FYL. So if y'all want to tune in later on, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, y'all tune in. Great show, great content, and we got a we got a mixture of great people. That's all. Around. But uh, we going to cook though, y'all. Um, end of the day, the Miami Heat they took care of business last night, and the New Orleans Pelicans took care of business last night. And um, now since we know who's who's facing who. Um, I guess I could go back to my original point because at the end of the day, my fandom, my love for the Chicago Bulls clouded my judgment, and Miami kicked ass. Uh, Miami did what I was afraid of. Uh, they shot lights out from three. Uh, we didn't do what we were supposed to do for us, chasing them off that three-point line, but Miami, they out-hustled us. They played with more hard play. And they played great defensively as well, uh, engineered by Bam Adebayo. Bam Adebayo brought the energy uh, to me, get player of the game, even though you had uh, Jacquez Jr. that was lights out. Tyler Hero was lights out. Uh, but Bam Adebayo was the heart and soul of yesterday with the Miami Heat. New Orleans Pelicans, Brandon Ingram showed up, but the, the elite defense um, by the New Orleans Pelicans propelled them to beat the Sacramento Kings. We knew they got a, one of the candidates for defensive player of the year, Herb Jones, and New Orleans took care of business. Uh, but now since we know everything is filled out, today's games, I got the Orlando Magic beating the Cleveland Cavaliers in game one today. Um, I think Orlando goes surprise a lot of people. Um, then when you go to the Philadelphia 76ers and the New York Knicks, I got Philly. I think they're going to steal game one. Um, I won't be surprised. Look out for Tyrese Maxey to have a big game um, in this game one and be to be solid to get his usual numbers. Um, and I think the role players for Philly go shine today. Uh, then you got to look at um, the Denver Nuggets and the Lakers. We got the late game tonight. I got the Denver Nuggets uh, winning game one in convincing fashion to, set, to basically make a statement to let the Lakers know they really can't compete with them. Uh, that's just my honest opinion. Um, I forgot about in the Phoenix Suns and the Timberwolves. I got the Timberwolves winning game one against the Phoenix Suns. Uh, they're going to have a lot of energy. Um, they got home court advantage. I just think Minnesota going to come out with a lot of motivation in game one because a lot of people – are picking the Phoenix Suns instead of Minnesota. And I think Minnesota, if they focus, they just play their type of game, they should beat the Phoenix Suns and they should win that series. It will be a challenge, but they should win that series if they just play basketball. Um, but my original thoughts, back with the Miami Heat beating Boston, I think Miami Heat is still very capable of beating Miami. Uh, we, we understand what's going on with Jimmy Butler, uh, but Let's just say Boston comes in game one, building off that momentum, and wins game one. Because Boston a little rusty, haven't been playing, so th their shots may not fall. They may be cold, and Miami steals game one. And Miami steals game one, you guys. Expect Jimmy Butler to come back very soon, and expect Jimmy Butler to be able to contribute in that series. And as long as they win game one, Miami could, Miami could have Jimmy Butler be in Miami the whole time. My bad, y'all, man. This phone call got in the way again. But uh, if, if they steal game one, I'm telling you guys, they can rest Jimmy Butler and get him back into playing shape game four. I think if, if Miami steals game one, I expect a, 
a return from Jimmy Butler game four in that series, even if Boston is up 2-1, I could see Jimmy Butler coming back game four and make an immediate impact on that series to change that series. So look out for that, you guys. And I think in Miami steals game one. I think Miami, he's going to win the series. It's going back to seven games. And they will win that series. Uh, for New Orleans versus OKC. That's an interesting series, but I got Oklahoma City Thunder winning in uh, five games. I think OKC go be convincingly beat um, New Orleans in five games. Um, I just think OKC has too much firepower for them. I think uh, New Orleans is horrific at times, but you got the, they got the they got a defender of Herb Jones to make it difficult on SGA. Can he? He got the capabilities to. That could be dangerous at OKC. Don't take that proportion serious. But I just think OKC talent is going to overshadow that. I got OKC in five games over New Orleans. Um, yeah, I know I went out because of that call. But I, but I most definitely, you guys, I'm standing on business. Um, I know, I know right now I'm the biggest villain on YouTube. I know right now I got a lot of people really just mad at her for his constant bashing of the Clippers, uh, for her constant, uh, criticisms of people takes when it comes to talking about the Clippers. Um, so I understand right now, her is not going to get a lot of love, um, then, I'm also a guy that a lot of people feel I hate on LeBron James. So I, I'm going to be getting a lot of heat from a lot of people and not be shown a lot of love, which is okay. Which is okay. But I'm going to get the last laugh when it, when it's all said and done. Herm will get the last laugh and Herm will let it be known that I was right all along about all these different takes. And L.A. Dodgers blue, you're supposed to ride with your Lakers no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So I respect you for that. Um, but I just think Denver just too much. They got the best duo in the NBA. Nicole Young and Jamal Murray, the best duo in the league. Um, I just think they got too much. I just think that they will coach. And I just think when it comes down to closing out games, I trust them more. Um, but you're supposed to ride with your Lakers, and I respect you for that. You know what I'm saying? Um but but at the end of the day, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be some interesting things going on around here, man. Um, I sense it, but that's okay. It's playoff time. I'm not supposed to have any friends right now because I, I am a guy that criticizes every team that I, that is in the playoffs. I am a guy that holds everybody accountable, so I'm gonna get a lot of heat for holding a lot of people accountable. I'm gonna get a lot of heat for making people. Uh, Making people look look at basketball a different way, so I understand it. Um, but I just want to get my quick takes, my quick thoughts. And Unc, I sent you that money, brother. You won. Your Heat beat my Bulls. I gotta take that. You know what I'm saying? Good shit, Unc. Unc rolled this team won a little easy money off me, and I and I paid I paid my boy. I paid Unc ASAP. You know. So shout out to Big Tom. And y'all subscribe to Big Tom Open Sports Talk, you know what I'm saying? On one of the most entertainer most entertaining uh shows out there for sure. But man, y'all hit that like button. If y'all not subscribed, subscribe. Hollywood Hearn still go stand by his picks. Hollywood Hearn got the top three seeds in the Eastern Conference losing in the first round. Um, also, Hollywood Herm also got the strippers losing to the Mavs in the first round. Got Minnesota beating the Suns. Got Denver beating the Lakers. Got OKC beating the Pels. I'm telling y'all how it's going to go. I'm telling y'all how it's going to be. I'm telling y'all this is easy fucking work. But yeah, hit that like button, y'all. I'm out.